trial runs because I don't want to give away their defense. No, 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 you're not you giving see? away their defense. No, but that is, what, that, that is, no, but that is one of remember, the charges. No, but remember that you've invited us here to ask yes. you absolutely any question. About me. Exactly. Yes. So, so I, didn't establish any, I didn't establish any campaign. Ratanang is Rata, was Ratanang not uh, an investor or shareholder? Was a shareholder? Is still a shareholder? It's still a, it's still a yes. shareholder. Did Ratanang know that um, the executive, the director at the time, lied or is accused of lying at the time? We know that he's accused now. We know. Yes. Yes. So do you remember when the company was established? I I, I may not remember when was Sanlam established, but I'm a shareholder. So I, I don't I don't remember. But this one only has two shareholders. Yes. Yeah. But I'm not running the company. Uh, and Sunlam, you, you at Sunlam you don't. But get I'm to, not running the company. At I'm a shareholder. At Sunlam you don't get to be part of executive meetings. No, but no. With but this I, one you were part no, of executive meetings. No, 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 no. It's not true. So the report is not true. It's not true. I'm not part of any executive meeting. Me. Here at, at one point. No. You were not part of no. any meetings. No. Even so Tuli's report so, will tell you I'm not part of anything. So your best friend uh, Guangwa lied to Tuli. It is alleged. He's still going to court. He will answer that. So I don't run. The, I'm not running the uh, administration. Shareholders, you may not know, uh, as a journalist, may not be a business person. <laughs> shareholders do not run the operations yeah. of the company. So Lisiba was a shareholder through his family trust and ran mm -hmm. the affairs of the company. So he will answer that in the court. So but I may not remember on top of my head the date and the time and the day of when the company was established. But would you remember more or less that the name of the company actually came about on the same month as the, as the, the, the tender going for, 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 adv for, for was, was, was advertised? Do you remember that? No. I mean, even when they were tendering, I didn't know. I was not involved. But then so what, I don't know when do was the tender what? advertised because they didn't have only one contract. Mm -hmm. They had all types of contracts. So I wouldn't know, because I was not running the company, I wouldn't know which the tender was advertised when, which one was advertised when. It was not only that tender, by the way. Mm -hmm. There were many others. So I was a shareholder in the Gilda investment. Yeah. And then on point is a subsidiary. It's one of the subsidiaries mm -hmm. of Gilda investment. So it's, a, it's on point, it's qualities, it's SGL, different types of com companies under Gilda Investment where I am a shareholder. So what the subsidiaries are doing and how, whether they've paid electricity or not, I'm not involved in that space. Whether they bought a tender document or not, I'm not involved in that space. So you wouldn't know about a meeting that you were allegedly part of that decided which, how much dividends must go to which company? A meeting? Yeah, meetings. With, with Meetings. No. Uh, do you remember how, how you guys were dispersing dividends? Yeah. Or how the company used to disperse dividends? Yeah. Sure. Um, one of the allegations here in the report as well is that there were no meeting minutes. No, no. Me and Lisiba, as, as people who represented the trust that held shares in Gilda, yeah. will meet and agree that because we are a small company, we can't behave like the big companies where the dividends are declared at the end of the year. We can make projections of what we think we'll make and on the base of that start uh, distributing monthly mm. so that we don't overburden the company at the end of the financial year. Yeah. So we did exactly that. And that was not on point money. It was all the monies brought together of the subsidiaries under Gilda Investment. So and you were part there, of an executive meeting? Not executive the board members. The director of the company. Which, which the that? Di was Guangwa not the director of the company? Yeah, but he was also yes. a shareholder. He was exactly. representing a shareholder, yeah. a Guangwa a, a trust. Yes. And I was representing Ratanan Trust. Yes. At that level of a shareholders meeting, there is a difference between shareholders meeting and management meeting. Yeah. That you should have known by now. Yeah. So, so management at Power FM, when it meets, the shareholder may not have to necessarily be there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's what happened. So at that level, we'll talk for all the companies under Gilda Investment and say this year we project with what we have. Mm -hmm. This is how much we can make at the end of the financial year. And therefore, to avoid overburdening the company, let's dis distribute monthly. Okay. One of the other allegations is also that um, the source of income for, for, from Ratanang was uh, from On Point. That was the sole source of, of income at the time. No, it's Do you not agree true. to that? 
It's not true. I said to you, where, okay. where, so there are where, so many allegations that you don't agree to no, in this we, report. We but have, why don't have, you challenge we, this report? Which report? Why don't you challenge this 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 report? Which report? This one. Which one is this? The public protector's one. No, but it doesn't implicate me. It implicates Ratanang. No, it doesn't. There are no findings against Ratanang. It says that Ratanang was a beneficiary of the, this money. Yes. The contract. Yes. The same the, way. The illegal the illegal tender. No, 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 no. Any money that that tender got right? And you would either donated that money to a, a church or to a board in pick and pay. They all received uh, the money of the proceeds of crime. Why are you not asking them to also go and challenge uh, that? Because they didn't invite us here. You so, so, us so, here. so we can't challenge their report because it has got nothing against us. Okay, so you see again, so you see what, what happens is that your modus operandi is again that there's no allegations against um, the EFF with, the, with VBS. Yes. There's no allegation against you as an individual. Yes. So constantly these are the things that come up. However, though, constantly that's, is be, that's being tarnished, yet you don't find it in yourself, in your... No, there's no nothing bringing party down. Which party is going down? Then why are we always, uh, always No, we are dealing with allegations. You asked people about me in my absence. And I said, I'm available, ask me. So I'm saying to you that this one, there's no party that is going down. Two, there is nothing that implicates us. So nothing. all the so, Julius, all the, according and to And then, Aldrin, now, why are people not are, uh, being arrested? Why are we not being charged? If these things that you are saying are legitimate and correct, why would a company implicated in a report of corruption and fraud not be charged? Why? Why are you not asking yourself that question? Because those charges are not there. Are not there. City. I wanted to go back to Lucy Bagwango. I asked yeah. you earlier if you guys were still tight. Um, Julius, what are your, I don't know if you've heard the same things, but it's where EFF is in terms of the relationship you had, obviously informal or otherwise, with the DA in Twani. And I think they pointed to other areas, Nelson Mandela Bay, though. And, and yes, you can call it gossip, whatever you want to define it as. But there is talk, though, that in those areas where the EFF is, and that speaks to the issue of influence, I suppose, that Lisiba Gwangwa is there and thriving and doing business in those areas. That will be, simply put, it's not true. It's not true. So in Tuani, Lisiba Gwangwa is not doing anything. I don't know, but I don't have anything of Lisiba Gwangwa in Nelson. I agree you said everywhere EFF is involved. Nelson Mandela, Johannesburg, Tuani. I don't know anything. Okay. of Lisiba Gwangwa being involved in all those municipalities, including in, uh, in Limpopo Hang municipalities. So, but Lisiba Gwangwa is still in business. He still runs his business. So I don't know what uh, he's still doing, uh, Lisiba Gwangwa, but all I know is that so on friends. point yeah. is no longer uh, uh, trading uh, 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 and, and therefore makes uh, the Gilda investment uh, redundant, but Lisiba is an engineer and Lisiba is in business. As I speak to you now, Lisiba still does business. All right, so there's a story Carl did, a few, I think last year sometime, yeah. your, between your relationship with Lisiba and it involves on point engineering. Yeah. I just want to run through some of those things that you were speaking about, whether or not. Deceiver was behind those purchases, making those payments. So there's an issue around a Mercedes Benz, Benz Viano mm -hmm. that, w that you used at the cost of nearly 1 million in 2011. Was that purchased for you by Lisiba? Viano. Yeah. Yeah, Mercedes Benz Viano, no, that one. They say the pictures was, of you. It was mine. That's what they're saying. No, but I never had those things. So it wasn't bought and maintained. You never used it. It wasn't paid for by Lisiba. No, Lisiba had a Viano, but uh, if it was bought for me, it's a story. <laughs> okay. And then um, they say that he paid for the construction costs of your Sandown mansion as of February 2011. No, but that was my money. It's my money. Okay. I'm a shareholder. I'm entitled to it. Lisiba okay. didn't pay for me. It's my money. He didn't pay for it. No. 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 Mm. If there is money that came from that company to pay for the Sandown, it's my money. Okay. Yes. I was a shareholder. I was entitled course, to it. Of course, of course. It's my money. And then there's the issue of the bodyguards that you had in 2011. Was he paying for your bodyguards? 
I never had bodyguards. What do you mean? You never had protection of sorts in 2011? No, I had bodyguards from the ANC. And then later, I got bodyguards from the States. And then when they expelled me, my guys were distributed in different uh, uh, companies. Some of them went to work for Prasa. Some of them went to work for private individuals and institutions because they were police. And how I was treated, they resigned in protest that this is unfair and uh, if their job is to protect and therefore they can continue to work for police who take decisions on the basis of political considerations. So they went into different spaces. So based on this particular answer, then you're ruling out the fact that he also bought a Ford Focus for them uh, in Polokwane. No, but if he Ford bought Ford Focus for his staff members, they're his staff members, they're not but mine. But speaks to your guards that you're saying. No, the Siba has never bought any guards of mine, anything. Nothing. What, what, why do you buy police uh, Ford Focus? Because <laughs> police have got uh, but a pool car. But this is based on an affidavit that wasn't used by the NPA. That's what I'm bringing to the table. That's what Carl wrote on. That's yeah. all I'm asking for clarity on that. But, 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 CD, simply put, Lisiba's money was my money. On Point's money was my money. So if On Point is on trial... Which explained why they paid for expenses... I for was a shareholder. Money. I was a shareholder. I was entitled to that money. Mr. Malema. And I've never denied okay. that money. Mr. One Malema. other thing. I know earlier you spoke about how you always, you know, you're always, your last, we asked about lifestyle audit, and you're like, you're always being audited. When was the last time SARS actually conducted a lifestyle audit on you? I don't remember. I guess they do it even illegally. So for sure they are busy now. I don't know. So legally, okay. Can, can we just take questions from the journalists who are not in the No, room? but if some girl wanted to ask anyway, yes. then we'll go online. Okay, sure, sure. Please. So essentially you are saying that you've never benefited from ill-gotten money, no. either from Mahuna, Srangatara, Skameka. I don't, I, don't, I don't get involved in uh, engaged in illegal dealings. I don't. Mm. Uh, you'll never find my name anyway. I don't get involved in those things. But a company that you saying that it was your money is now being trialed. Yes. I was not involved. <laughs> but That's you why got my that name money, is not there. But you got that money. Yes. I even wrote a letter to... A, a asset for future unit, by the way. And I said to the asset for future unit, uh, if this proceeds uh, that benefited Ratanang are uh, illegal and you want us to pay them back, we, will, we are more than prepared to pay them back. Because we all agree okay. that benefiting from a crime is a crime in itself. Yeah, but, 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 but if, if, if the money is rotten, the court is going to run now. I wrote a letter to asset for future unit. I said, I was never involved in any of wrongdoing, but if for some reason this money that came into Ratana can be proven to be illegal money, we are more than prepared to pay it back. Okay. So, Gilda Investment, how much did you pay for shares in the company? No, we formed it together. You formed it together? Yeah. So, from scratch? Mm. So, Gilda Investment would have only had investments, what, in OnPoint or is it other different companies? Qualis, SGL, and I can't remember other small ones. Uh, on top of my head now. Uh, sure. Okay. So on this particular one... Um, they did work. Yeah? They worked. They, they, they worked, sure. Again, one of the allegations that come out here, and I just, I'm basically just asking you sure. these questions because I, I'm thinking that probably um, some of the investigators would, would love to hear this as well. You know? Yeah, sure. Um, so one of the other things is the company stated that it has a certain number of employees and the company has been operational for, uh, uh, I think they said over nine years, and you said, Uguti, that it, that is under dispute. But there's also the allegation that the company said it was making two million rand annually. How would the company be making two million rand annually when the company was only established the year that, um, the, that the tender was advertised? You see, uh, Aldrin, there is a very interesting thing that they are going to explain uh, to the court with regard to the years and the experience of the company because they explain as engineers that when you put these different components together, that accumulates he into argues, a particular yes and all yeah. of that. He argues that So he they are going well. to, they are, yeah, so yeah, he argues that, that was the explanation to me. Yeah, but so, then the distinction would be what about the two million rand annual turnover? Because that then gives us the impression that the company has been in existence beyond, um, beyond a, a year. 
it cannot be that it is the nine years that you accumulate of all the experiences that these mm -hmm. engineers have, and mm -hmm. then you put it together, and then mm -hmm. you say it's nine years. Yes. That is not the lifespan of the company. Mm -hmm. So as far as the records are concerned that came from CPRO is that the company was established in the same year as the tender. So as the shareholder, do you know whether the company was making a two million rand turnover? I don't know if they were making projections or not. Because but remember that, that you said that it's your money. Yes, that and statement yeah. that you are making. No, no, I'm responding the statement, not the money. I'm yeah. saying you are saying they are saying they are making two million yeah. per annum. Yes. Right? I'm saying to you, I don't know if they were making projections or they were factually saying they are no, making two million. No, but however, the matter is before court. Mm -hmm. They will answer that question. Did you because they are the ones who filled in before, before. The, the tender documents and they mm -hmm. will know what to answer and what experience are they putting in there yeah. and why they said the two million. I am not involved as a shareholder at an operational level. Okay. Yes. So um, with the two million rand, uh, do you remember ever receiving any dividends from on-point engineering before September 20, uh, t what was it, uh, 2009? I, I, I won't remember that sitting here. I mean, I won't remember those uh, unless you give me a document you are reading from. But I, I know that Ratanang received dividends from Gilda Investment and it started even before the on-point end. Okay. okay. Can we raise another issue just quickly? Before um, we... Can we just, this one is just the one and... and I don't yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? It is, again, it's the firearm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you set off a firearm at the party's anniversary celebration? The matter is subjudicate. Okay, the matter is subjudicate. With, um, your, with the accusation around um, occupying of land, um, what's that case called again, guys? Um, Riotous Act. Yes, the Act. Riotous Act. Yeah. Newcastle. No, yes, 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 yes. With the Riotous Act case, why don't you make the similar argument that the matter is subjudicating? Where did I make a, a speak about Riotous Assemblies Act? Every time when you appear before court, there's a rally, and you speak to exactly what you did on those particular days. No. So I, it's not. No, I speak about land occupation. Yeah. Not the ABCs of uh, 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 the case. And, but you, you also say that there's nothing wrong with what you did. Absolutely. Exactly. So the Even in the firearm, there's nothing wrong that I did. That I can say. And so therefore, did you I will not be... Did you, so did you fire a The matter firearm? is subjudicated. The matter is subjudicated, but the be, truth doesn't let's, let's change. Hear, let's listen to this. I will not be pleading guilty. You won't be pleading no. guilty. So you didn't fire a firearm. I will not be pleading guilty. The matter is subjudicated. So you didn't fire a firearm. But I can't answer that question because the matter is before the court. I will answer it in but court. The thing is that the truth remains the same, no matter who asks no, and when you are aware the truth. But the, the once you are thing. charged... I'm on, asking you, did you fire it, the fire? No, no, but once you are charged, my man, you are now living under the guidance of your law, your legal representatives. And therefore, I'm not going to undermine that advice of my legal representatives so that tomorrow, when they fail to do their work, they don't accuse me of having messed up their case. So you, are, you yourself are not sure about your own truth? That you no, no I know my truth. I told you but my why truth. Why can't you share your truth? I'm not, I'm not going to plead guilty. That's so my you truth. didn't fire a fire? I'm not guilty of anything. Okay. okay. Thank you, President. There's a maxim in law which is called, he who alleges must prove. Mm. So anyone who alleges must, he bears the owners to prove. The other one is, uh, you know, uh, we are all innocent until proven guilty. I think that should always be, be borne in mind. Um, Bumi, with that said, can you please give us uh, the questions? Uh, give us one at a time, please. All right. Uh, we have a question from Sophie Mukwena from SABC. I know this is about VBS, but I have a question on the Middle East. What is the reaction of the EFF to the current tension in the Middle East? Will Israel and Palestine reach lasting solutions to this crisis? Well, our view is that there must be the coexistence of the two and that there must be um, a, an everlasting peace um, um, in the Middle East and that uh, the people of land and uh, Israel must leave the Palestinians uh, land. So the intention to extend their territory in the Middle East 
is actually goes against the many in multinational uh, resolutions that have been taken by uh, multinational bodies. So we want peace in the Middle East, we want the coexistence, and with Palestine being recognized uh, as a legitimate state. Sure. Another one, please. Hello, Mahulejo from New FM and News Note Agency has a couple of questions. I'll start with the first one. During your Youth Day address, you criticized the current leadership of City of Joburg, among others, saying they were trying to force the city's housing agency to appoint a company previously flagged for some wrongdoing. Please take us through some of these decisions the city took under Geoff Makubo that you deem questionable. Almost uh, senior managers in the city are being sub uh, subjected to um, some sort of suspension or inquiry or uh, leave or anything of that sort. So, uh, 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 and we know why, because the current government wants to access resources uh, in that city without following uh, the due process. The company that was flagged out in the how train which Mashaba was chasing when he was still there, demanded that it must be reinstated. And those who are presiding over the entity uh, of uh, uh, Joburg property demanded that 200 million should be sourced from that company uh, and, uh, uh, so that its uh, a contract can be uh, reinstated. There is a lot uh, going on in Joburg, uh, a lot of corruption, yet the so-called investigative journalists are unable to expose that open corruption that is happening in Joburg. In light of that, do you think there are projects in the city of Joburg that are being targeted for reversal simply because they were done by the EFF with Herman Mashaba? Well, we don't have any project we did with Herman Mashaba. You know, I've been to Herman Mashaba's house twice. We never spoke once about tenders. We've always spoken about how do we position the city politically uh, uh, how do we ensure that we get proper leadership, both politically and administratively? The second time I went, it was when Mashaba wanted me uh, to convince the EFF to allow councillors of EFF to take part in the executive positions, including giving him the speaker from the EFF. Those are the things that me and Mashaba will speak about. So I've never, not once, you can even ask him, Never once did I discuss a tender with Mashaba or Musima Imani. Never. Uh, still from Khaukhelo, considering Helen Ziller's attempts, uh, repeated attempts to tweet away the history of black oppression by whites and the reluctance by the DA to act against her, does the EFF regret voting with the DA in, in municipalities? Does the EFF have a decision on whether it would work with the DA again in the future? Uh, we have made that position very clear. That's why we are not voting with DA in Joburg and in Swan and uh, in uh, Nelson Mandela. Okay. Is there a different journalist or? Because <laughs> 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 Raoul is asking. Is it too many? <laughs> uh, Bobby? Uh, are we done? Give us also from the known outlet. I mean, that's it. Okay, guys, uh, do you have any? Known outlet? Like, I mean, he said UFM. I'm saying, is there something else from another? Outlet? Oh, that okay. is, I know how well is a journalist. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. I just want to quickly Steady. bring in something from Adrian Bazan, actually. Okay. So sure. Adrian speaks of a City Press article from 2012, and he says, why did you use the Ratanang Family Trust as the shareholder of On Point? Why did you not hold the shares directly or in your own trust? No, no, it's my Ratanang Family Trust. It's my trust. It's my own It's trust. not in your son's name. Ivana. You can give it any name, it's CD. It's a name, it's not a trust. It's a name of a trust. Sorry, yes. It's my trust. Yes. Yes. So it's yours. Any yeah, name I did with matter. my trust. I was a trustee myself. Da. <laughs> can I ask one other thing? No, hold on, hold on. You, you, you can ask. It. One last, one last sure. take. You can go. <laughs> one last take from me. The, the, the Mahuna issue, the bank card issue. If I said to you, you said anything goes, right? If I said to you, Rukupa, when are the bank cards are returning right now? Bank card. Yeah, no. do you have a wallet on you? Do you have the cards on uh, you? Would you like to see if maybe you have it? I don't have a wallet on me, but I can give you. When we go out, yes, on condition you will publish 
that I gave you and you searched my wallet and you couldn't find that nonsense in my wallet. Okay, fine. Yes. Okay. Okay, no, wait, there are questions from Zingiswa that were not responded. Yes, I must. Oh. For me? Zingiswa. Okay. Yeah, um, I have questions from Zingiswa Mvumvu from Sunday Times. Oh, sure. Why are SMS notifications from Santa, Cl Santa Clara Trading Bank account transactions going into a mobile phone number belonging to Mr. Malema? I don't know what he's talking about. All right, the second question. Santa Clara pays suppliers from, for Sud restaurant in Soweto and also makes direct money transfers to the Sud bank account, a company registered under your cousin Tuluma Lema's name. Why? There's no cousin of mine, Tuluma Lema, who's got an account registered under her name in Sud. Is that what he's saying? Let me just uh, reread it. Santa Clara pays suppliers for Sud restaurant in Soweto and also makes direct money transfers to the Sud bank account, a company registered under your cousin, Tuluma Lema's name. Why? Which, which company is that? Santa Clara? So, Sud. Sud bank account. Santa Clara makes the transfers so, to So, Tulu is belonging to which company? To Sud. No, there's no company registered under Tulu called Sud. There's no such a company. The third question. Santa Clara has also made money transfers to Munezi Family Trust, registered in your son's name, and Mazimbu Investment Trust. Why, if not for Mr. Malema's benefit? No, it's not for my benefit. I mean, the, my cousins run my family businesses, including this trust that I'm talking about. Where they've got interest, it is them who run them. So they will, from time to time, uh, exchange monies. We are not strangers. We are family. All right. The fourth question. He's got a couple of questions. Uh, Munezi, which receives money from Santa Clara, has purchased a property in Santon, which previously belonged to the EFF. Yeah. Why did Mr. Malema's family trust buy this house? Because the house was uh, on sale. We could have bought any other house. We bought the one in Sundown. Because I used to stay there, and I knew the owner actually the owner was selling the property. Then I, I told the leadership of the EFF they bought the property as an investment uh, purposes. I was no longer staying there. And then later on, uh, the EFF said, it's not worth it. They are selling it and we bought it. It's 100% financed by APSA. 100%. It has got a bond. Okay. Is this the same person? Yes. Uh, he's got Do like we not have another person? How many? Nine questions. Yeah, but that's abuse. Is, is there someone else no, 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 who, I, other than, because I mean, we do that with Khawkhel. Uh, Can we have someone else? Is there someone else in the group? No, no I'm done. Okay, I think, I think guys were fine. Are you guys fine? Cards. I just want to see the bank yeah. cards. Sorry? Aldrin? I just want to see the bank cards. Benke look booze your in your speed. So, um, last year when you had a bereavement, uh, did the president of the country Give him Malia Kendlela at all? Cyril? Yeah. Give who? Ekai? No. He didn't? No. Okay. He only sent me a message. Only a message? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for coming, guys. Thank uh, you. I hope that uh, you enjoyed your I time. I hope you're happy, <laughs> Sam Kelo. <laughs> Are you happy, Sam Kelo? <laughs> 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 it was really amazing. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Great, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is great, by the way. Uh, I hope that uh, we'll get more of okay, these type of opportunities. Off. And we must call it the Malema yeah. format, you know? So when, we, so when we get to the press briefings, they must ask okay. what format you want. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs> 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 Next time, be ill, Andre. That's my show. What do you mean? Yeah, it was not really It's my show. You must have them in Yeah? Ali, you was But Challenge your ordinary. Experience the extraordinary.
not only the government, the municipality here has had no plan. Now, I believe that my peace is my most valuable asset. Absolutely beautiful! This is exactly what I was looking for! Epic, epic, epic! DJ Khaled! It is a day to celebrate. We're ready for action. I like it when it's nice and soft. Yeah, that is nice. How was it like growing up in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Feeling is there that, you know, you're doing something special. Stop being so dramatic, Mira. You should just be what you want to be. Experience the extraordinary with Starset. The coronavirus outbreak. Experience the extraordinary. Tremendous waste and tremendous fraud. Mexico is, in fact, you will soon find out. It is a day to celebrate. We don't approve at all what's going on. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily unusual. Challenge your ordinary. Not only the government, the municipality uh, has had no plan. Experience the extraordinary. With Starset.